grasp in front of you. Good evening, Mayor, Council, and the rest of the group that's here this evening. Um, Linda Urban, 254 George Ave, Wilkes Ferry. Again, I am here tonight to uh, voice my opposition to any tax increase that's planned by the mayor. I'm also, uh, again, voicing my opposition of laying off firefighters and police officers when, in fact, Mr. Layton, city council members, and the always absent city controller are not budging to reduce their salaries. Also, the administrative staff in this city hall are overpaid, and you darn well know it. Mr. Layton stated that two local companies are closing. That should be a very significant indication, Mayor Layton, Council, and other highly paid city hall staffers, that uh, the taxpayers cannot afford your lifestyle. I don't see where a city council person in Wilkes-Barre is capable of earning $350 a week. Mr. Merritt, you're making about mm, $400 a week. Can you verify 32.5 hours of work hours? Can you bring me a log right now to show me Mr. Merritt, Mr. Brown, Mr. Absent Barrett, Mr. Uh, George, Ms. Lavelle, Mr. Mayor, can you verify you work 32.5 hours for the city taxpayers this week? Hello? Anybody home? Uh, since you cannot verify your work hours, how do you justify getting paid? Our firefighters, our police officers, and our medics can justify their hours. But for some reason, we can't justify yours. I believe that you need to look in your own ethical conscience and take a 50% deduction in your salaries monthly. We cannot afford you. You are making more money than some breadwinners in this city, and you darn well know it. Some of you work elsewhere. Some of you have benefits and retirements. How much money do you need? How much? There's kids in this city that don't even have a coat. And you're sitting here collecting pensions, benefits, and salaries. And you, Mr. Vinsco, you're not even supposed to be working right now. We have a full-time city attorney. You are supposed to be used only for special projects. You're just as guilty. Before you go and decide to lay off a firefighter or a police officer, I think you better look at yourselves. We don't have to support your brand new homes, your brand new cars, your fancy clothes, and your $200 shoes. We don't have to. So before you go and cause more destruction to the family unit in this city because it is falling apart between foreclosures, tax sales, people being evicted because they can't pay the rent, kids going to school on school lunch programs because their parents can't afford to pay for lunches, reduce your salaries. I can't understand why you people don't budge. Are you that greedy that you gotta have that money? You work at Intermetro. You don't make enough, Mr. Merritt? Mr. Vince goes a lawyer. Mr. Layton's a realtor. Ms. Lavelle, I don't know where you work. I don't work. Did you ever? Yes, my husband. Okay. Years. 30 seconds, Ms. Lavelle. Okay, fine. You all worked perhaps somewhere or are still working? We have enough expenditures in this city. You do not deserve the salaries you are getting as elected officials, and you darn well know it. So don't look at the firefighters. Don't look at the police officers or the medics. Look at yourselves. 
How much do you really need? Thank you.